It's said that if a car falls into the water, you can only open the door and escape after the vehicle is completely submerged. But is that really true? To find out, Jamie removed the engine from a working car, because the oil inside would contaminate the test pool. Then he placed an equal amount of weight in the front to replace the engine. The experiment took place in a large pool. Adam played the role of the driver who made a fatal mistake, while Jamie, who's a much better swimmer, sat in the back seat, ready to provide air support if Adam couldn't open the door. For maximum safety, professional divers were monitoring the test in real time with a medical team on standby. Once Adam was ready, the test began. A crane slowly lowered the car into the water to simulate a real accident. Because of the added weight up front, the nose of the car sank first. As water climbed past the windows, the pressure made Adam breathe faster. When the water reached over his head, he tried to open the door, but no matter how hard he pushed, it wouldn't budge. Within seconds, he felt himself running out of air. Jamie quickly handed him a breathing device from the back seat. It wasn't until the car was fully submerged that the door finally opened. But here's the surprising part. Even though it took one minute and 57 seconds for the car to go from knee-deep water to completely underwater, Adam could only hold his breath for about 30 seconds, and that was with full preparation. In a real emergency, panic burns through your oxygen even faster, meaning most people wouldn't even last 30 seconds. They'd drown long before the car fully sank. So the real question is, when exactly should you open the car door to escape? 